Hey friends, it's Marie here again. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sharing a Spellbinders card kit for 2019. This is a 2019 card kit, but they are offering it again, and it is full of so many fun things that you can make. Christmas cards, albums, scrapbook layouts, all kind of Christmas crafting. So I just want to give you a look at what's in this box. If you're excited to get into this card kit, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's look at this kit. So you're going to open up your kit here and it is full of all kinds of things. So right here is a whole pack of die cut shapes, little pieces of cardstock um, sentiments and different images and different things. Um, you can go ahead and layer these. You can use these in a scrapbook layout, your planner, a December daily. You can do cards. So many awesome fun things that you can do with this. Um, I know in years past, not this year, but I have done in previous years, taken the envelopes from these kits and made a little envelope album. So that was fun as well and different ideas that you can do with this kit. So what I love about Spellbinders card kits is they also throw in this little instruction sheet um, that shows the die kit that are the die set that comes and it gives you some ideas for cards so if you need some ideas to get started it's got that little instruction kit um, instruction um, sheet excuse me and here I'm just kind of flipping through all of the pattern papers these are so gorgeous they have poinsettias some of them even have the gold foiling on them um, lots of different designs patterns it's got a lot of the traditional Christmas colors in here but it's also got little hints of pink which I think is really fun if you wanted to add something a little bit brighter to your cards that little um, pattern right there it kind of looks like a deer fur coat or something so it's really woodsy very traditional colors but like i said it's got a little pop of pink here and there um so you can go totally traditional or you can put some more pink on there and kind of make it a little bit brighter here are a few self-adhesive rhinestones they do have some gold flecks on them which are really pretty and i used a bunch of those on one of my cards in this video you also get a little stamp set. Now, I didn't use the stamp set on my cards today, but it would be completely easy and fun to go ahead and ink those up and stamp a pattern or stamp your own cards. Um, you get all of these card blanks in your kit. There's about 10 pre-folded, pre-cut cards, and it comes with the matching envelopes as well. So you can go ahead and make 10 cards with the kit. You can use your own paper and make even more cards. You get a lot of card stock with this kit too. So if you want to go ahead and cut down those eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock in half you can make your own card bases with those as well so you get tons of stuff in this kit like I mentioned you also get a little die set now I'll show you the die set in a minute I wanted to get through this kit first and show you all the goodies in here um, all of the ephemera um, all of the embellishments and the card stock. So like I mentioned, there's a lot of different colors in here. You get a little gold, um, all of those traditional reds and greens, and a little bit of pink. So here is the little die set that I'm going to open up and dump out here. And you can see that you get a few of these circles that cut out these little ornament um, dies here. Uh, there's a bigger one and a smaller one and those circles cut those out perfectly. I didn't use those in today's video but you do see a card on that little instruction sheet that they put into the kit um, giving you some ideas with those ornament dies. I am going to use these little poinsettia dies in my kit today. I love all the flower dies. <laughs> you guys know I love to just layer flowers on top of my cards. So I'm going to take these little dies and I'm going to cut it out of some of the cardstock that is in this kit. I'm using this bright red here, cutting it out. I'm going to use my Spellbinders tool in one to just poke those cardstock pieces out of my dies and then I can layer them together. Now I did cut this several times, but if you go ahead and cut both of these dies, it's going to give you three layers of flowers, um, large, medium, and small. You can just layer them together and glue them together to create a little dimensional flower. 
Now before I'm gonna glue these together, I am taking some Distress Ink and I'm just inking up the edges so that it gives it a little bit more um, of a shadow, gives it a little bit more of dimension, makes it look like it's popping off the page a little bit. Can't tell too much, but if I left the cardstock blank or just plain, um, you could definitely tell if I put them side by side um, that that little bit of ink blending just adds a little bit more dimension. So I'm using my Fun Stampers Journey glue and I'm just putting a little dab of glue in the center of each of these flowers and I'm layering them together and creating my dimensional flowers. I'm gonna be using these flowers as embellishments on my card. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and make sure I had them all assembled before I get to the rest of my card. And you'll see that this card card kit makes these Christmas cards quick and easy. You have so many pieces just ready to go, ready to arrange on a card. Um, so if you want to make a whole set of Christmas cards to send out to family and friends quickly, um, this is a great way to go. Here are some of those rhinestones that I showed you in the beginning. They're so pretty. They um, are solid colors, but they have some of those gold flecks in there. So they are kind of shiny when you tip them in the light. And I put them in the center of these poinsettias um, to add a little bit more shine embellishment on my card. So I'm taking a little bit of that pattern paper. I've cut it down to be a little bit smaller than my card base. And I'm just gonna go ahead and layer my embellishments on top of it. I love that you can cut out these gorgeous um, pattern papers, just layer them together and have an instant background. And like I said, this is a really quick and easy way to create your Christmas cards. I'm just gonna take my sentiment, which is part of that ephemera pack, already got that glimmer sentiment on there and I'm going to take some of the adhesive that is included in the kit. It's some double-sided tape. It's really easy to stick onto your cardstock and you can just rip it with your hands. You don't even need to use a scissors and then that backing paper does come off fairly easy. I like to use my tool in one tool to kind of lift it and pull it off and it comes off no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this on my card base. You might have noticed there that I did open my card just a little to make sure I know which side it opens. I have gone ahead and glued down my pieces on the back of my cards before, and then it opens on the wrong side. So I always like to make sure that I have it just where it's supposed to be before I glue things down to it. I'm taking some more of my liquid glue and I'm just arranging these flowers around that sentiment that I've popped up there. I used a little bit of that foam adhesive to pop it up and there is card number one. The only thing that I did um, extra to that card is I think I had splattered it with a little bit of gold splatter. Um, not sure, but I know I'm going to do that th with this card, so keep watching. Um, this is my second card, like I did for the first one. I took some of that pattern paper and I just cut it down to fit on top of a card. And I'm taking some more of those cardstock die cut pieces and some of these um, chipboard stickers, and I'm going to add them together to make a really fun wreath. Now, this is a chipboard sticker. It is sticky, um, but I'm putting some of those foam squares on the back because I want to pop it up in the middle of that wreath. So I'm just making sure I've got that in the middle there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it down. And now, what I love to do with Christmas wreaths is just fill them with embellishments. And I think all Christmas cards need a little bit of sparkle. So I'm gonna take a lot of these rhinestones and just fill this whole wreath with these rhinestones. And I love this card. I think it may be one of my favorite ones from this kit. Um, I just had fun doing it. It's really simple, but it looks gorgeous when it's done with all of those rhinestones. So I went ahead and I think I glued it down. I'm not, not sure if I glued it down yet, um, but I am gonna take another piece of those um, die cuts. I'm gonna take that little pink bow here and I'm gonna glue that right underneath my sentiment. I just thought that added a little bit more something special. And now I can see that I did not glue that down yet. I'm taking some of this gold from my Nouveau Midas Touch um, Aqua Shimmer brush and I'm just flicking some on the background. I really wanted to get some gold flex 
splatters, speckles, whatever you want to say, um, on my background. And I went ahead and I let those dry. And now, now I'm going to glue on my wreath. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this liquid glue, go around the edges to make sure it's all glued down. Now you don't have to use a whole lot of liquid glue on these pieces of um, die cuts because you don't really want the paper to warp all that much. So just put a little bit. And if you're worried about that, you can always use that um, adhesive tape that comes with the kit. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have this centered onto my card, and then I'm gonna take that adhesive tape, like I just mentioned, and I'm gonna put it down on my card base so that I can layer my card front on top of it. Again, I'm just gonna peel off that backing paper using my little tool in one. This is such a handy tool. Um, I use it for putting embellishments in the right place and just peeling off backing paper, and I use it quite a bit. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and layer that card front onto my card base, and that's card number two. So super easy. Um, it's just a really pretty simple card that can fit in one of those envelopes and you can go ahead and send it to a friend or family or anyone for the Christmas season. So I did wanna go ahead and make one more card to show you three different card styles that you could use um, this kit to create. And there are so many more pieces in this card card kit you can make so many more cards even extra cards when you run out of these card blanks because you just get tons of ephemera pieces and um, pattern paper uh, so don't limit yourself to three cards make more and send them to everyone you know <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer on some more of this pattern paper I'm putting two layers together and whenever I'm cutting out my rectangles I like to use um, the Spellbinders rectangle dies. They are just a basic essential in my craft room. Um, different sizes of rectangles that will layer perfectly on your card front. So I used those to cut out these rectangles. Um, if you don't have a rectangle die, you can definitely just go ahead and use a paper trimmer and trim out rectangles. It's super easy to do it that way as well. So I thought these little stockings were really cute in this kit. So I wanted to go ahead and fill them with some of these little candy pieces that are in that die cut kit pack. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some liquid glue on there and glue in these little candy pieces and a few little stars um, just to fill these stockings. Now, once these stockings are filled, I'm gonna go ahead and pop them up on the front of my card using some of these foam adhesive squares. Um, these are really easy to put on there. The backing paper comes off easy on these as well. Um, and you can see I'm using my tool in one, again, to kind of get them in the right spot. Now, I wanted to go ahead and um, kind of map these out before I um, adhered them down. So I was gonna have them kind of curved, but in the end, I kind of liked them just in a straight row. So that's what I'm doing here, just adhering them all down, one after the other, getting three full stockings on top of my card. And then the last thing is just to grab a sentiment that's already made from this kit and just glue it on. And that finishes my third card. So there are three cards that I made today to give you a little bit of an idea of how to kind of put these cards together from the kit. Like I said, there are so many more pieces. You can make so many more cards and scrapbook layouts and albums and fun things with this kit. So make sure you look at the description box below for links. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share and just do all the things. And I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.